Welcome to the second video in my series of using frozen yeast. Uh, in the first video we talked about freezing yeast using a 15% glycerin solution. In the second video I'm going to use some yeast that I've previously frozen uh, that's been in my freezer for about a year. Um, follow along, I hope you get something out of it. Alright, I'm going to continue with my yeast freezing and usage uh, video. Um, this weekend I'm going to make an Irish red and I need some Irish ale uh, yeast. I just happen to have a vial that I froze almost one year ago to the day from today. This I froze this on October 9th 2016. It's now October 6, 2017 and I've got this vial of frozen yeast. Um, I've had it soaking in some room temperature water for a while. It's pretty thawed out. Well, it's all thawed out and it's brought up to temp and it's ready to use. Here I've got some wort that I canned and it's at uh, about 1.040 uh, specific gravity which would be perfect for a regular starter but it's going to be a little strong for a starter using uh, frozen yeast I think so what I want to do is take that gravity down to about 1.020 give or take a little bit so that the yeast has a chance to build itself up. Uh, to do that I plugged some numbers into Beersmith and it looks like I've got to add about three quarters of a cup of water to this pint of wort and that should bring my specific gravity down. So that's what I'm going to do. Here I've got some water that I boiled and it's cooled down. Um, yeah, it's all cooled. I had it soaking in some cool water so it obtained room temperature. Uh, got a sterilized or sanitized uh, measuring cup here that I rinsed out with star sand. Got my two liter Erlenmeyer flask that's uh, already got a, some star sand in it. I sanitized it too. Um, and it's got a um, stir bar in it already. So what I'm going to do is take three quarters of a cup of water this with some second runnings for from a stout that I brewed I know a couple months back uh, this says it was July 5th of 2017 it's October 6th right now like I said so about three months ago I don't want the little chub there so that's my wort last but not least my yeast again this is an Irish ale uh, Y yeast 1084 um, I harvested it from a batch that had a package of new Irish ale yeast and then I had some old stuff that I threw in there to uh, kick it up a notch when it was first fermenting. I didn't think it was fermenting fast enough. My starter wasn't quite so good. Anyway, I harvested it on uh, 923.16 and froze it on 10.516. So, shake it up again just to make sure I get everything out of the bottom. Uh, and there's still a little bit left over in the bottom there and okay that's everything so just gonna pour it in and that's all she wrote so we'll uh, put this on the stir plate let it go and we'll follow up tomorrow um, go ahead and get it stirred here get a little close we'll try and get an idea of what the color looks like okay so that's kind of a light brown uh, not milky at all. So, alright, my stir plate's back here. And crank it on. And we'll follow up with this tomorrow. It's right now about uh, 10.30 at night. So, um, I'll check on it in the morning, about 12 hours from now. Yeah, I got a little bit of a vortex going, so find out what happens. Wow. 
Well, it's been about nine hours since I pitched the yeast in my wort. And if you look, it's gotten a little bit lighter. And there's a really nice croissant on the outside. So, one-year-old yeast is still alive and still kicking. We'll let it go a little while longer. And in another, about ten hours, I'll add another quart of wort to it. And I'm going to eventually get it up to a full 2 liter starter volume. Now one thing I did change a little bit. Uh, when I calculated my specific gravity for this starter wort, um, I added some water to my 1040 wort to try and get it down to the closer to the 1020 range. And earlier I added 3 quarters of a cup. I went back and recalculated and that wasn't enough. So I added another quart or another quarter of a cup and got it uh, to about 1027 um, anyway apparently it didn't uh, hurt it one bit because obviously it's working pretty well all right it's been another 12 hours or so and the stir plate's still going and if you look uh, the crazen has diminished considerably and little tiny bubbles there but uh, it's definitely not at the high crazen it was at earlier so I'm gonna let this go for a couple hours more and then I'm gonna add some more wort to it and build it up a little more about 12 hours ago I added another quart of canned wort to my starter and look at what it's doing so I think this is proof that frozen yeast works great you just got to do it right in one year I was able to get a decent starter going a little close just look at that A lot of yeast in there. Okay, the uh, word has been going now for over two days, and uh, I cold crashed it a couple hours ago, and everything has pretty much shuttled to the bottom. And look, there's a bunch of yeast. Now you gotta remember, I started with about 25 milliliters of yeast, and now, let's see if I can get underneath to this, I got a whole bottom filled. I'm gonna pitch it, and We'll see what happens in the morning to my beer. First thing I'm going to do is pour off all the liquid from the top into another container and we'll see if some more yeast will settle out overnight and then I'll har harvest it and save it for another time. Alright, well... Alright pitched it last night about 10 o'clock it's now about 6 o'clock at night uh, 20 hours later and if you look I got some bubbling some definite bubbling and if you look on the side there you can see some some coys and There's definitely some croissant going on on the side. So, there you have it. Reusing frozen yeast. Now, I've got this fermenting at, uh, it looks like, uh, 
65.7 degrees, 66 degrees. So that's what my temperature set at. And I do, you can't really see it, but I got my uh, sensor wire taped to the side of the fermenter. So. All right, this is just totally crazy. It has been literally two and a half hours since my last video, and this is what's happened. So I pitched this yeast 24 hours ago, give or take an hour, and it is just cranking away. Okay. There you have it, yeast freezing and usage. Uh, you can see that uh, freezing your yeast is pretty straightforward from your harvested yeast. 15% uh, glycerin to 35% water to 50% least yeast slurry, and that's all you need. Now, since I have been freezing, um, I have read a lot of different articles about uh, proportion of glycerin to the overhaul, um, proportion of everything else, and really I use 15%. I've read people use up to 25%, and some people even uh, have said you could use 50%, but then other people say you don't ever want to do that because that will um, deter the yeast itself from growing later or it can cause problems. Um, I don't know. 15% works fine. The proof is in the pudding. Uh, you just saw the um, yeast that I pitched yesterday in less than 24 hours. It is just going gangbusters. Uh, so anyhow, I hope you got something out of the video. Uh, put it to use. Try it. Uh, let me know how it works for you. Take care. Cheers. Uh, good coffee stout.